The Igbo are the second largest group of people living in the southern Nigeria. They are socially and culturally diverse, consisting of many subgroups, although they live in scattered groups of villages. They all speak one language. The Igbo have somewhat high IQs than other Nigerians and there is more variations around the mean. That could explain the fairly large number of high IQ Igbos. The Igbo man is that man that just after the year of genocidal attack on his region, his companies were seized up from him and was given to the Yoruba man to own it and run it as his own rightful ownership. As if that was not enough, the Igbo man is that man that all his money in the bank were seized up, his millions and billions in the bank were all seized from him and he was given only 20 pounds out of his own millions and billions. The Igbo man was told to start his life back just with 20 pounds. As if that was not enough, the market of the Igbo man that was known as one of the largest markets in Africa was brought down by the fire. All this happened to the Igbo man in the analog age. The idea was to take away the Igbo man's right to survive from him, but today the entire Igbos are still known to be the richest of all tribes, based on what history has to say about the attack on the entire existence of the Igbos, and how each and every one of them have individually made life better for themselves, you will be in total shock of not left with tears rolling down your eyes, and I will not be surprised if you happen to be surprised about how come the Igbo man is doing much better than every other tribe in Nigeria. In fact, it is now known that if you do not find an Igbo man in any particular place of the world, then there is no better way to know that there is no light of or life in that place. My dear friends, Nigerians and beyond, is a honor for you to have such people around you in your time. This is a good thing to write home about, to teach about, to document and to put in the mind of upcoming generations. What is your reaction to what has been said? We are now see the reason why the Igbos are known to be the wisest in Africa because they are the second largest group of living people in southern Nigeria. They are socially and culturally diverse, consisting of you know many subgroups. Although they live in scattered groups of villages, but they all speak one language. What is your thought on this? We would like you to drop your comment on what has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. And Janiel reacted to this and said that their smartness to me is not verifiable. You don't see it in their life. If life, you don't see it in their surroundings. You don't see it in the way they do things. You don't see any kind of smartness in their state and how they are run. You don't see it in their relationship with other people. Look at bad image Igbos are giving Nigeria all over the world because of them, the green passport has become a red letter to foreign countries. Being an expert in trading in imported goods and services does not make you smart. The smartness one and is noticed in Igbos is an 
over valentine desire of self aggrandizement always wanting to show that they are better than others in everything this is not true this is not to take away from their hard-working nature and general hospitality please let's see some of this smartness in the way they are being you know the way they are bringing their intelligence to solve some of the country's problem we want to see their intelligence being put into actions like the chinese bring smart does not remain in perception it should show uh, not just in paper qualification or the old man who work in nasa or one politician in england what do you make of what aganiel have said to this he said you cannot say because these people are smart when it comes to business importing and exporting of goods you cannot because they are smart in that aspect and refer to them as the smartest of all tribes he said we want to see their smartness put into action let want to see their intelligence how smart they are in the way they will bring their intelligence to solve you know the country's problem what do you make of this how true is what Angelio has said about this we would like you to also drop your own thoughts and comment on what has been said well let's move further and see what other people's reactions is about this baron samedi also reacted to this and say you saying the Igbos are you know the most intelligent among other tribes i do not agree with that because they are the most enterprising wisdom is a different thing altogether a wise person can never pursue material acquisition like they do please don't confuse intelligence with wisdom they are street smart and adventurous I am not from Efik, but I think Efik people are highly intelligent. Look at Calabar and see, well organized, clean and friendly, very gentle and easy going people are not bent on acquisition by enemies. Difficult to hear from Efik people involved in nefarious activities. There may be other minority tribes out there who are better but this is what i know if you know any please share what you know what do you make of what samedi have said about this we have had different people who have shared their thoughts with us but according to what baron samedi has said said there is a difference between intelligence and wisdom he said no wise person that he is no intelligent person who pursue material acquisition like the Igbos are doing. The Igbos might have the wisdom when it comes to businesses, but when it comes to organizing, the Igbos don't have enough knowledge about what is called organizing, like the ethic people, according to what Samedi have said. He think they are highly intelligent. What is your thought about what has been said? We would like you to drop your comment on this. We would like to see your own reaction in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.